Well, thank you, Christine. Um, I understand that you spent all day at your leadership summit today. And did you learn a lot from this leadership summit? Yeah. Well, I am so glad because we have so much to do. And as chair of the Congressional Asian Pacific American Caucus, or KPAC, I am so thrilled to be here with Civic Leadership USA and Asian Pacific Islander Vote for your 2000. 18 AAPI Leadership Summit. Now, I want to thank the two who made this so possible, and that is the spiritual and financial leader. We have Sandy Chow. We also have our executive director of civic leadership, Nelson Huang. And then there's the tireless person who has been making sure that Asian Pacific Islanders are registered to vote. I mean, there is no state that she won't go to. <laughs> I mean, she has been a one-woman uh, torna tornado going through all these different states, making sure that Asians are registered to vote. She is, she is a force of nature. Christine Chen. <laughs> Well, I thank you uh, for coming from all over, from all across the country, to discuss a common goal, and that is empowering AAPIs to get engaged in our democracy and to make our voices heard. We have such a critical election coming up in November. And as someone who's been on the front lines here in Washington, DC, I can tell you that the stakes have never been higher. That's why I am so proud that you are taking these steps to register, to mobilize, and to turn out AAPI voters this fall. And what I am struck by is of the power and the potential of the Asian Pacific Islander vote. Asian Pacific Islanders are the fastest growing racial population in the nation. More immigrants come from the US, from the Asia Pacific Islander region than from anywhere else in the world. And by 2040, the electoral power of the AEPI community is expected to double. Well, I can tell you that we're already seeing the impact of this growth reflected in Congress. You know, there was a time when AAPIs were totally invisible in Congress, and that's why they were able to pass such things as a Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882 and the Japanese American internment camp uh, experience. Um, but now we have increased our numbers, and as of 2016, we went from 13 AAPI members of Congress to 18 members of Congress at our AAPI. That's a historic high. Not only that, 2016 was historic for the AAPI community because we increased our voter turnout compared to 2008 and the 2012 elections. As a result, we were able to sway the election in key swing states and districts all across the nation but especially in states like Nevada and Virginia, where I can say we were the margin of victory. Despite this, we have challenges ahead. We know that the overall AAPI voter turnout is still very low. Only 49% of eligible Asian Americans turned out to vote in 2016. And um, what we also know is that AAPI voters are rarely contacted by either political party. And in fact, it was the 2016 API vote survey that found that less than one third of registered AAPI voters were contacted by either party. So we still have so much work to do, but I'm confident that we can build on the gains made in 2016 and get a record number of AAPIs to vote in 2018, where it will really make the difference. So I view the AAPI community as the sleeping giant. There is so much potential with our community. 
where we can truly make a difference in so many critical issues. And there are so many things that we do need to do. We need to stop this, this assault on family immigration. We need to make sure that uh, we um, can continue to study and, and, and not be assaulted as, as, uh, as spies for China. We need to stop this Muslim travel ban. There is so much that is affecting our community. We need to make sure that our voters are engaged and with the registration of more AAPI voters, we can, in fact, turn the tide. We can make sure that our needs are met, and we can make sure that with AAPIs having a seat at the table, that our voices can be heard. So thank you, and um, let's uh, make sure that we continue these efforts so that we have victory in November. Thank you all very much.